In this video, I'm going to talk about Smart Assist functionality within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omni Channel. Now, a while back, I have posted one video uh, in my channel called as uh, What is Knowledge Article in D365 Customer Service? And I received a comment from one of the user. So the user has requested to uh, have some more assistance with regards to smart assistant customer service works with that. So on basis of this comment, I have created this video. So let's jump into the first uh, presentation uh, on what smart assist is all about. Okay, so smart assist. Now smart assist is an intelligent assistant that provides real time recommendations to agents. Uh, it helps them take actions while interacting with the customers. Now you can use artificial intelligence based suggestions for knowledge articles uh, and similar cases by enabling this feature. Now you can also build a custom bot to interpret the conversation context and then provide suggestions to agents. Uh, now it's displayed in the form of a card and this recommendation cards are based displayed on the agent's user interface, uh, uh, highlighting the context of the current conversation. The smart assist features can be enabled across all channels like chat, uh, SMS, Facebook, uh, except for some of the entity records. Uh, so now it, it makes a consistent experience for all the agents. Okay. Now smart assist recommendations are displayed only after an agent sends a message. Okay. Now smart assist is hosted on a productivity pane, which I'm going to go through uh, in this video. Uh, note, Power Virtual Agent bots aren't supported as a smart assist bots, but uh, over a period of time, yes, it may uh, well be supported. Now, uh, custom bots interpret the conversations in real time. Now, this is important. So what happens is like uh, if you have a website and if there is a, a custom bot attached to a website and within that website, if you start typing something and based on that, the agent receives that message and then that message is interpreted by the AI uh, recommending about a uh, similar uh, knowledge base article or similar cases, okay? So which will help agent resolve the case faster, okay? Now there are some settings we need to do before we make this enable. So smart assist is basically on the uh, top right, you will see an icon like a bulb icon. Uh, and then uh, based on that, it will suggest some knowledge articles and it will display all the knowledge article which he has found. Now, uh, in this example, there is one knowledge article which is found and a couple of similar case suggestions has been found. So this is what basically the artificial intelligence does uh, within the Dynamics 365 customer service only channel app. Now, Smart Assist bots interpret the conversation in communication pan. So I'd call this, uh, uh, so this panel is basically a uh, like a kind of a card but uh, I'll show you how that communication panel looks like uh, in the demonstration. Now, it provides recommendation based on real-time conversation. Now, this is important because every word you type or every word the user types, uh, this word gets, uh, uh, like say, stemmed and then uh, interpreted in a uh, different way. Like uh, it starts searching for those particular keywords within the knowledge base or within the cases and try to uh, surface out the recommendation. And also at the same time gives out you the confidence as well. Like uh, it, it clearly mentioned now in this example, it has shown that it is 66% confident. Okay. And now we need to make sure that whether it is right or wrong. Now, if you click on yes, then the engine may understand that whatever things they have done in the back end is correct and then they'll try to improvise on the algorithm now agent can dismiss the card if recommendation doesn't meet okay so we can just, just say no okay so like this you can you know like do those uh, uh, like that smart work within your organization okay now how to configure smart assist now there are a couple of checks we need to do in the back end to first check whether the smart assist is enabled configured or not and once it is configured and enabled then yes, definitely you can start utilizing that. Now by default, uh, uh, it depends on the productivity pane and productivity pane is dependent on some backend uh, solution called as productivity tools in Dynamics 365. So those all things I'm going to just show you in the demonstration. However, this couple of screens, I can't show in the demonstration because this is not enabled in my 
dev environment. Enable means like in the development environment, it's air gapped environment. And then that's why I may not be able to show you this. But uh, make sure that uh, like when you are in the customer service admin center, if you go into insights, you will see an AI feature settings. Here it will be uh, the one of the setting would be for suggestions for agents. Okay, now once you click over here under configure, then the screen will pop up. You just need to enable this to uh, say uh, check boxes or radio button, you know. Uh, now uh, enable similar case suggestions. So this is like a switch which you need to turn on uh, and enable knowledge article suggestions. That's another switch which you need to turn on. Now once you do that, you can further do further settings on the data mapping on which field to search for when a uh, keyword has been searched against a knowledge repository or a case table then you can specify those two columns over here okay so i'm going to first show you in the demonstration that uh, how to you configure uh, smart assist okay now first thing first you need to go into your back end you know environments customer service trial uh, so if i'll just show you how to navigate so environment customer service trial and then here go to resources and dynamics 365 apps here if you search for productivity then you will see a couple of things agent productivity tools and dynamics 365 productivity tools make sure that this is all installed it is all updated and it is all coming up with the latest version okay now if it is not uh, if it has some update then it will prompt you to install okay but in my case it is all updated as of now and i'm ready to go okay this is just a check you need not even look into it but i'm just telling you this is how uh, it works from a back-end perspective now uh, second thing what you need to do is under uh, say agent experience there is a productivity section okay uh, so if you are in the productivity section then uh, you will see something called as a productivity tools, okay, which is under preview. Productivity tools for supporting or expediting tasks when agents are resolving customer issue. So you know not do anything. I'm just showing you this is the area where the tools get configured, okay? So this list has one of the item called a smart assist, okay? You need not make any change over here. This is just an active pane tool configuration. Now, if I go in smart assist, I will be able to see the control name through which it is rendered and some of the unique name and some description about it okay so the description says that make intelligent recommendation of knowledge articles similar cases and more based on real-time context okay so this is what uh, productivity uh, pain will encompass now where to do the settings okay what you need to do is like now in my case i have already created a channel okay now i have created a chat channel okay now if you see here this is the chat channel which I have created. Okay, there are four, four different chat channels. Now the chat channels are attached to a work stream. Okay, now this is a work stream which the chat channel is currently attached to. And then if you go in advanced settings, here you will see all the uh, different configuration for that particular uh, workspaces. Okay, now this is just like I'm just showing you because I have already configured it. I can't show you directly in the session about that. Okay. Now here, there is something called as a session. Okay, so chat session. So if I go in that session, I will be able to see the uh, session template. Okay, so this is also one of the uh, thing which gets configured when you configure a chat channel. Okay, now on the left hand side, if you see under agent experience, if you go to overview, you'll see something called as a workspace. Okay, now this workspace, if I click here, we wall then uh, I will be able to see agent experience profiles, okay? So if I click on manage, then uh, I can see all the default profiles which have been already been created except for the one, this one, which I have created, okay? Agent, Girish agent, EXP profile. Now, let me go into the default profile first, okay? Customer service default profile, this one. If I go inside it, now this is the default profile for your customer service uh, representative, okay? now let me yeah let it open let it open this default profile yes so in this default profile if you see here there is on the right hand side there is something called as a productivity pane now if you see this productivity productivity pane is on okay and smart assist is on so make sure that 
all those things are on okay now the strange thing is that this default agent experience profile you can't edit if i can't flip over here what it says is this default profile can't be edited but you can assign users okay now what if i want to assign those configuration or make those changes then yes but obvious you need to create your own profile and that's why i have created my own profile okay you need not create but then i've just created it just to show you what the configuration lies now if you see here under productivity pane here we get an option to turn on turn off the agent script knowledge uh, smart assistant okay now in case if it is off then you may need to turn this on okay so it will start like this you need to turn on the productivity pane and then default mode is expanded or collapsed and then you can enable the smart assist now this is just i'm showing you if it is if somewhere the smart assist get lost you know or during the configuration so i'll not make any change i'll just leave it as it is okay now all our uh, settings are done smart assist is configured enabled now let's do one thing let's uh, i have already created a chat channel now i'm going to just trigger that chat okay so let me go into so that. now i have my chat bot already embedded within say one of the html file which i have created so let me trigger this html file and this html file basically uh, will have that chatbot so i'm just minimizing it and this is that chatbot which is here okay so let me uh, do one thing let me open this as well so this is the agent which is logging into the system which is logged into the system and the uh, other window which i had opened show you this one so let me let me enable this and now it will be on top of here okay so now this is the uh, customer which is going to chat with me uh, with the agent okay now let me trigger that live chat support <coughs> Now here, oh, uh, the agent is connected. No, oh, it's a Girish has been assigned. So let me say hello. Okay. Okay. I have some issue now. As you see over here, uh, the agent will receive a chat request. Now the agent will try to accept it. Okay. Now once the agent start accepting the chat request, the conversation will do will be shown over here. So. Let me minimize this a bit okay yeah so here uh, the agent will ask for some questions you know now as you see over here now the uh, user has some issue okay now if you see on the right side you will see something called a smart assist now if i click over here it it has already started suggesting me which cases it's related to but it hasn't given me any knowledge article suggestion okay so let's assume uh, say the user says my surface uh, studio is broken okay now see what happens okay now what this message is sent with this watch out over here okay watch out the space now the user is telling that my surface studio is broken okay and over here uh, the AI will trigger and then it will start looking at a knowledge article and if check if there is any uh, thing related to say Surface Studio or not. And then now as you see over here, it has found that okay, this may be related to this article suggestion. Okay. And I will say that blue screen appears when I log in. Okay. And then the uh, agent will say, okay, let me have a look into it. Now, as you've seen that, uh, you know, this is all dynamic. Now, this is all coming uh, in a dynamic way, okay? And then it has suggested that this might be 76% confidence uh, uh, result, you know? And you can also mark relevant yes or no. So if you say that, hey, this is Surface Studio related is yes, and then this is say maybe no okay so then the ai will remove that and then you know you can use this record okay now how you can use this record is like maybe if you want to send this knowledge article to the customer uh, if you click over here just watch out what happens over here so if you click here then the url uh, for that customer service knowledge article will be sent to the customer okay and the customer can have a look into the knowledge article okay uh, and at the same time you can copy the url as well okay 
uh, and then you can have further more conversation uh, with the customer say i'm just typing something like test and you know like the customer will respond say, maybe some some text you know and then every time this whatever text you type uh, it will start showing you some sort of a results okay so if i'm just randomly typing something okay uh, if i type something then maybe if the knowledge article is found over here then it will start showing you that related knowledge article but now as you have marked it that this is related to surface studio so the ai now knows that this is uh, related to surface studio okay and then you will see similar case suggestions and other suggestions as well okay now if i start typing case or you know like something like that uh, then uh, it will start finding the keyword related to the title description short description whatever you have configured and then the smart assist will try to uh, give you some more information so uh, that's it folks this is all about smart assist smart assist what it will do is like uh, it will start uh, providing you the suggestions based on the keyword you type in the chat as a customer or as an agent and then it'll try to analyze those keywords and try to search internally within the knowledge base or the case management system and try to uh, suggest some uh, you know articles or cases so that you can mark those cases either as a similar case or you can mark those cases as uh, a uh, like a uh, if it is belonging to some knowledge article so you can make use of that knowledge article and with the help of smart assist you can uh, be make sure that your agent resolves a case uh, quickly timely and in an efficient way thanks for watching